Are you currently training at home? If not, we need to talk about why doing soccer drills at home is so important. And I also want to show you my new training setup that I just installed. What's up guys, Dylan Tubi, Progressive Soccer. Check out my new living room. I've just installed some artificial grass, some astro turf. Started a new business with the guys who own the Calgary North Soccer Center and it is in-home astro turf, sports turf that you can put in your garage, in your living room, in your basement, in a spare bedroom, you can put it on your deck, you can put it in your backyard but we're working on uh, getting affordable turf for everyone. Now, that's not the topic of this video. I'll send out more info on that side business in the future. But in this video, I wanna talk about why training at home, doing soccer drills at home is so important for your development. Let's just stop and think for a second. How many matches do you play per week? Maybe one, maybe two. If you're crazy like me and you play on four teams, then maybe you're playing four, but that's very rare. Most people are playing one match per week. How many team practices do you have? One, two, three, if you're like super competitive. So let's say you're playing two practices and one match per week. Two hours each, that's six hours a week. Six hours a week of training. Is it enough to get the results that you want to improve as quickly as you would like to improve? The reason training at home is so valuable is because you have unlimited access to this facility. You can go there whenever you want. You can put in the work whenever you want. You don't have to wait for a coach. You don't have to wait for your teammates. You don't have any excuses. If the weather's bad, it doesn't matter. You can still get it in. Now, you don't need a fancy area like I have. You need to create your own little training area. So actually in this video, I recorded a whole bunch of exercises, some technical skills, some physical fitness, some mobility stuff, and I'll go into detail. I'll make some more videos in the future and actually give you guys some tips. I'll give you a little workout and I'll, I'll give you some things to focus on for these specific areas. But in this video, I just want to start off and get you thinking about creating your own little training facility at home. It can be a little corner in your room. It can be a little space in the basement, maybe it's somewhere in the garage, maybe in the backyard, but you need to create your own training facility because I'm telling you, six hours a week, it's not enough to get the results that you want. What equipment do you have available? What space can you utilize? And most importantly, I want you to adopt the mindset of becoming your own best trainer. I talk about this in my videos all the time. You cannot rely on your coach. You cannot rely on a personal trainer. You cannot rely on the quality of your teammates. All those things will help you. And if you come across great coaches and trainers, that's fantastic. But at the end of the day, you must be your own best coach. You must be your own best trainer. So set up your training area, get motivated, and take advantage of that space. No excuses. Time to put in the work.